everybody, welcome back to E cubed. Now yesterday we studied the serious expression of on the dole, on the dole. Today we've got a phrasal verb using dole, D-O-L-E, and it is to dole out. To dole out. To dole out means to give. Not necessarily a lot, but a little. So to dole out, it could be a lot, but usually a little, to dole out money, to dole out candy, to dole out advice. Yes, these are very common collocations with dole out. Dole out money, dole out food, dole out advice, dole out candy. That's the idea. So in America, a couple of days ago, we had Easter. And in America on Easter Sunday, the Easter Bunny comes to many houses. The Easter Bunny came to my house and he doled out some candy, some delicious jelly beans. Now, actually, when we say dole out, you have to imagine, hold on a second. Had to get my wallet. You have to imagine your uncle or your grandfather or maybe your dad. He picks up his wallet and he says, uh, here's five dollars for you. Ooh, I'm rich. And here's twenty dollars for you. Yeah. And here's nothing for me. No, I got, I got twenty, twenty-three, twenty-three more dollars. So, so what, what am I doing? I'm doling out. So the idea, not too much, but a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. So the actual action of giving, we can visualize doling out as actually giving. So the Easter Bunny, he kind of like actually doesn't give the candy, he puts it there. So that's a little bit wrong. Santa Claus, if you go to the shopping mall, he doles out little gifts, okay? In America, if you go to a parade, you know, like the 4th of July parade, some parade. There'll be uh, people in the parade who dole out candy. They give candy to the children watching the parade. It's great. Uh, in the summertime, if you go to a baseball game, uh, there might be a guy doling out free hats, baseball hats or something like that to advertise the team. To dole out, to give something. But once again, especially money, not huge amounts of money, but, you know, $5, $20, $100 maybe, to dole out money, to dole out advice, to give advice to people. I like to dole out English advice, pronunciation advice, to dole out candy, to distribute, to give candy. And let's go ahead and check out our dialogue. Hey, cat pictures again? <laughs> yes, they're useful. How? Well, they always dole out wisdom. On the internet, cat pictures and puppy pictures, of course, animal pictures are so popular. And uh, I have two cats, Minty and Cass, and almost every day, we try every day to upload pictures of my cats and what they're doing, what they're thinking. Uh, today's picture was so brilliant. I love the picture. It is uh, my cat, Cass, singing the Village People song. Do you know the Village People song? Y-M-C-A. It's fun to stay at the Y-M-C-A. It's my Cass. My, my, my cat is doing the Y-M-C-A. But yeah. So my cat is not giving advice today. But sometimes my cat gives advice. Another word for advice is wisdom. My cats have very deep thoughts, and they give out wisdom. They tell you how to live your life, how to observe life, how to consider life. They give you a perspective on life that is very valuable. A perspective on life. That's what we learned in DDM. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so anyway, uh, to dole out. Dole out advice. Dole out wisdom. Dole out money. Dole out food, dole out candy. What about you? What do you dole out? Yeah, you might not dole out anything, but maybe you know somebody who, who's always good at doling out something. Does your dad dole out the money? Yeah. Do you dole out the money to your kids? Kids. God, they love money. I did too. 
to dole out. It's a great expression. Go to Google and find out how other people are using it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Practice the dialogue three more times and have a great day. Bye-bye. pictures again? <laughs> yes, they're useful. How? Well, they always dole out wisdom. Hey, cat pictures again? <laughs> yes, they're useful. How? Well, they always dole out wisdom. Hey, cat pictures again? <laughs> yes, they're useful. How? Well, they always dole out wisdom. <laughs>